What's going on ladies and gentlemen? So today I'm gonna be checking out the most popular trendy thing on the internet right now, which is the mug shot challenge. I've actually thought about doing this on TikTok or something, but then I realized I'm not a complete loser. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I still might do it. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's just see what uh, what you do here. Pick me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the So basically, head. Dixie and Charlie are saying, hey guys, we're gonna be judges and lawyers. That isn't that not the point of the challenge? <laughs> Take me out to the back of the shed. All right. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back of the shed. Oh, hers is pretty good. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back of the shed. Shoot I can see why a lot of people are pissed off about this challenge. Because look, in her mugshot, she look, she makes it look like she was A B U S E D. You know what I'm trying to say, right? It, that's what it kind of looks like. And a lot of people are really mad about that right now because it's like, why, why does it need to be about that when you've never experienced that, right? So a lot of A B U S E victims are mad about this because of that, and I can see why. I mean, you don't need to do all that for a fake mugshot, bro. Like, especially when you never lived through something like that, it is kind of crossing the line. Take me out to the back of the shed. Oh God, are you serious? I'm sorry, but really, you gotta throw Danielle Connor in there. Take me out to the back of the shed. Take me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back of the shed. What? Shoot me in the back of the head. That was the most extreme one I've seen. Take me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out okay. To the back of the shed. Yeah, it's Ted Bundy. Shoot me, the <laughs> Take me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back of the shed. That was just Take a disappointment. Me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back. Cameron of the head. Dallas, where the hell has this guy been? Take me out. Yo. Yo, it's a fake though, bro. The back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the head. I like Cameron so far. Cameron Dallas has the best one. So this is the trap. People saying fake mugshots. That has to be the dumbest shit I've ever. Take me out to the back of the shed. Well, you were on track for a minute, and then you messed up, Troy. Take me out to the back of the shed. Shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back See, like that's just going beyond, dude. Like you're just you're going beyond at this point. Like me out to this guy, bro. Dude, this guy's always on my for you page, bro. I love this guy so much. I love this guy, bro. Take me out to the Dude, he's my favorite. That guy's my favorite, bro. I don't know if you guys know who that is. He's on my for you page all the time. He is like the best human being there is dude i watch i watch his tiktoks they just bring a smile to my face he's my take favorite me out to the back of the shed shoot me in the back of the head take me out to the that's back a pretty good shed. one that's that's like a realistic mugshot photo too you know what i mean like the the messy hair the you don't look all there you know what i mean that's like a really good one she didn't overdo it with the makeup, like it's like a perfect mug shot, you know? All right, so I have a new favorite. That one guy who is uh, from the Brenna TikTok, he was my favorite mug shot, dude. Dude, if you don't know that guy, you're not following the right people on TikTok. Anyways, that is it though for uh, my reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Tell me what you guys think about the mug shot challenge. I think it's okay as long as you don't overdo it with the makeup and pretend like you have black eyes and stuff. I just feel like that's overdoing it for people who have actually experienced things like that, you know what I mean, in their day-to-day -day life with their boyfriends or whatever. So I feel like that is crossing the line, to be honest. Um, if people didn't comment that, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have came to my mind. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, okay. They, yeah. When you haven't experienced something like that and then you post something like that, it's iffy, you know? But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Have an incredible day and peace.